Hello guys, this video is really important for everyone who's in love with K-pop or K-drama. Doesn't matter what religion you follow, what country you come from. I just want you to be obsessed with K-pop or K-drama. Please watch this video till the end, get yourself a cup of coffee or tea, and let's get started. So I'm not going to be here judging you about watching K-pop or K-drama or telling you that they are stupid, silly, ridiculous, why are you watching them, they're like girls or stuff like that. I just want to pay your attention to a few very important points and ask me myself to be honest with you, I was at some time like obsessed with K-pop and like K-drama and everything about them. But now I'm out of this phase, I can spot some really important points that I think it really, I, I would say that they're really dangerous if you don't realize them. So I'm going to be sharing these things with you and we're going to start with talking about the idols and K-pop idols especially, how they become idols. I think everybody now knows the hard process of becoming an idol in a K-pop group. The way they treated, the least thing I could describe it inhumanely like i would really call it i would really like to call it human trafficking this i think the the best description of the the contract the way they are treated is literally human trafficking but in a modern way you know like everybody describe it uh, a modern slavery but have you ever wondered what makes a person accept such a treatment and situation humiliation starving lack of sleep unable to get treatment when they get sick, all this and more. The basic answer and simple answer is they want fame and money. They really want fame to the point that they can do anything. They can lose their dignity for fame. I'm not gonna be attacking them. I know like they go through a lot. They go through uh, like it's unfair treatment. They contract like slavery contract. But I mean, you chose that you chose that because you want the fame you want to be famous you want this this desire inside you to become famous recognized well known loved by everyone you became the slave the main thing of this point is not to spot the light on the k-pop um, idols and actors struggles because this is their own business to solve i cannot solve it for them but I just want you to know that this business, and which is a business, is not innocent. This entertainment is not innocent. Now, being aware of the environment that these works are produced in and the aims behind them makes you more understanding of the reality of production. Therefore, makes you less emotionally attached and more criticizing to the content that they are giving you instead of just watching and maybe adapting ideas you're not even aware of like the common most common ideas gay and we call it bromance and unrealistic beauty standards like uh, unhealthy fake body image also uh, fake relationship goals and showing a woman uh, and the woman body as uh, a cheap product or like the woman is her body and her look that's that's her that's her value now the danger of K-pop is not like any other entertainment project and I'm gonna tell you why. Don't just leave the video and think that I'm criticizing them and I'm trying to attack them. Bear with me for a second. These entertainment shows do not only entertain you. They affect your self-image, they shape your way of thinking and they redirect your life goals and life interest. And I think every K-pop fan knows that. I just think of your way of life before becoming a fan and your way of life and thinking and goals after you became a fan most k-pop fans their dream is to go to korea live in korea and marry korean and if they really fantasizing can i say this word what is that word <laughs> they want to marry a k-pop idol uh, or uh, an actor now for me the reason behind this human idealism from the fans is mainly the smart misleading companies that focuses on showing you a human in a particular image in a doll like image and also focusing on emotions and trying to show you the scenes in a innocent way when in reality they all full of uh, sexual gestures but i mean to trigger you and make you more attracted to it but in innocent way you know what i mean 
Though actually now they're trying to become more like open and showing explicit things. Let's talk now about the separation of reality and the effect on your social life. And we all know how K-pop and K-drama take you to a total different reality from even the Korean lifestyles, not like that. Though I know there are some shows and some drama they try to show because of course, their uh, audience are Korean. They want to relate sometimes to some problems, to some issues in their society. But the majority of the shows are focusing on something absolutely unrealistic. And this seems like they drag you with them to the fantasy. So you as a K-pop fan or a K-drama fan, you will be totally separated from reality. You'll be like living in a, in a love phase, literally like, you know, out of your mind. You, the way you walk, the way you talk sometimes, the way you think, the way you feel, the atmosphere around you, you know what I mean? So basically like, you know, you would, be, you would prefer to be alone most of the times, hearing music, learning new dances, or like watching a drama. Instead of go communicate with people, sitting with your family, meeting the visitors if they visit you or go out for a while. And I mean, it's, it's pretty dangerous. And if you want to mingle with people, you'd always tend to, to find somebody who has the same interest as you, like obsessed with K-pop. And if you find them like, oh my God, I find my soulmate. You know what I mean? So this is maybe now you're laughing or you think yeah, it's funny, but it's really, it's really wrong and dangerous. I mean, it's not healthy at all. <laughs> what I want from this video is for you to know how valuable yourself, your time, your money, your mental health, the way you look at yourself, the what what you aim for, what you want, and all these shouldn't be wasted for such industries for helping them to continue this human trafficking projects they are doing. You need to protect your self-image. You need to protect your, your time, your money, as I said, your religious standards that are really strongly violated in those songs and drama. As a Muslim, I see so many violations in the song and maybe after some time they come and apologize. But these people, these people like, like you cannot separate the personal beliefs from the productions because you are supporting a person who are atheists who dare to, for example, like BTS, uh, this rapper, I don't know his name, who dare to say bad things to God and he's an atheist. I mean, how can you separate his personal beliefs from his production? Look how it is. And then he apologizes. Of course he would apologize. He won more fans. He doesn't want to ruin his, his publicity for such a thing which for him a ridiculous thing but for us as a muslim it's a big thing i'm asking you to save your dignity even i was a k-pop fan i've never been this far like for you to to put your dignity aside the way you love them the way you obsess with them nobody deserves this much obsession save it for yourself so save your dignity of becoming obsessed with people who most likely they look down on you, especially for us like as Muslim. And they are really racist among themselves. Maybe this changing now a little bit and maybe there are some people not like that, but this is the majority and this is the reality. And I know that people on social media who went to Korea trying to show you something otherwise, but the reality is that they are really racist even within themselves. They are really, uh, they don't even like people who, who are darker color. And like students, for example, Malaysian students who went to study in Korea, they, they will tell you that they've been uh, treated really badly just because they may be Muslims or their skin color is a little darker. I hope you got a benefit. I hope you change your mind and be more careful. And yeah, until I see you the next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.